Assalamu alaikum Shaykh. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise your daraja. I have benefited from your videos greatly. Please consider me as your student. My question is regarding the soul and the nafs. Are they the same? If we have bad thoughts, is it because the shaitan empowers the nafs? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let's use the word ruh and let's use the word nafs. I don't want to get too technical. The spirit, let's say, the ruh is a spirit. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created to be always in submission to him. Understanding Allah and understanding who he is. Because the spirit saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are Allah and I am your servant. This is the spirit. The nafs is a different entity, different creation that Allah has also given to us. But that nafs, that ego, is the one who is always in opposition to the laws of Allah. Opposition to Allah. The ego is not shaitan. And the ego is very powerful that the ego can disobey Allah and can declare itself a partner to Allah. Not only a partner can say, Allah does not exist, only I exist. Which so many people in this world are saying that. So, the shaitan, it is a creature that is made from a fire that is filled with wrong intentions that was, that was a good servant to Allah but not for the sake of Allah but for the sake of itself that when it saw that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to create a new creature not new, new put that aside a new creature that is going to represent him already he felt so much envy because he wanted that role he wanted that honor so now his service to Allah is not for the sake of Allah his service to Allah is to get that position of Maqam al-Mahmud the most highly praised station the ego Ibn Allah is saying they are 70 times more powerful than the shaitan shaitan disobeyed Allah once one time Shaitan disobey Allah. Our ego is continuously, continuously disobeying Allah. The ego is inside of us. The shaitan can only enter when the ego opens the door and to invite the shaitan to come in. And when the shaitan comes in, Shaykh Fendi is saying the shaitan is like the teacher of the ego. Like what we said before, the ego is not very smart. It has thousands of tricks and traps, yes, but it's not very, it just says directly what it is. Allah is saying, who am I, who are you? It's saying, you are you and I me. You understand? No hiding, no slickness, no nothing, but shaitan, ooh. Shaitan, imagine if that question is asked. That's why when Allah is saying, bow down to Adam, he refused. He has so many reasons. So many reasons. So now with the intelligence of shaitan, the ego can become even more powerful and the ego is going to be directed by shaitan to whisper and the shaitan may not even be capable of doing things, but the ego will do it. The cruelty of mankind today, shaitan doesn't have to do anything. And shaitan will say on the day of judgment, I'm not responsible. What is the power of shaitan to mankind? Allah is saying, he's just whispering. He's putting a whisper there. And then, does he stay? No, he withdraws. Shaitan will say on the day of judgment, I never forced them, Ya Rabbi. I never forced them. I never put a gun to their head and say, you have to commit this evil action. I just whisper to them. But they listen to my whisper. You speak to them continuously, non-stop, 
and you send prophets to speak to them and angels and the intelligence, they don't listen, but they listen to my whisper. It is not my fault, Ya Rabbi, it is their fault. So Tariqat must teach us what is the ego? What is shaitan? And in this Naqshubandi Tariqat, we are not concentrating on the spirit. We are concentrating on the veils that is blocking the chains and the ties that is blocking the spirit. We are concentrating not what is behind the veil, the power of the ruh. We are concentrating on the veils that is in front, that is blocking, that is binding the spirit and to remove 70,000 veils between us and Allah. Like what? Arrogance. Huge. Thousands of ways that arrogance is showing. Don't think arrogance is just showing like this. Sometimes people look so nice, but you know they're very arrogant. Anger. Don't think anger is just someone screaming. That is an angry person screaming, screaming. Not looking at anything. When you scream like that, the anger comes, shaitan takes over. It doesn't matter how much you pray. It doesn't matter what you look. That time when shaitan takes over, you have a gun in your hand, you will kill. Envy, oof, stubbornness. You are unaware of these veils, how are you going to reach to Allah? You may say you pray all night long. The fact that you are saying I'm praying all night long to my Allah, you're already showing off. Shaitan already win. Take away all your sawab. Can you imagine? Huh? What foolishness to show off that you are worshipping. What foolishness. And the Prophet ﷺ is saying, if you have an ounce, a mustard seed's worth of arrogance, you cannot even smell paradise. The paradise, it is forbidden to you. How important it is now to know your enemies inside. You know your enemies outside, but you don't know your enemies inside. You're in trouble. You're in big trouble. And the biggest enemy Allah has put inside of us. But He did not leave us alone. It is our responsibility, inshallah, to look at these things and to understand these things. Tariqat, Sufism, Tasawuf must offer you guidance to come out from the mess of your ego and shaitan and to return to Mawla. If he's not teaching you about your ego, run away from it. If he's there to pet your ego, run away from it. Especially in these days. Allah forgive me, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.